Good evening. We begin tonight with tragedy at a Leduc High School. RCMP say a female student was fatally stabbed in a classroom. The incident prompting a lockdown that ended when a suspect was taken into custody. And CTV has exclusive video of that arrest. Dan Grummet is at the Leduc RCMP detachment where police spoke late this afternoon. Dan, what did we learn? Well, Jeff, we learned uh, the news that many students who I spoke with outside the school today had been fearing, and that's that the girl who'd been stabbed in a classroom, police say, this morning had in fact died of her injuries. Now, it comes as a shock, certainly, to the Leduc community, but especially those associated with Christ the King School students, uh, parents and teachers of that school, which is now the focus of a homicide investigation. What began as an ordinary Monday for these Leduc High School students was suddenly filled with uncertainty and fear. It was crazy. I've seen the girl before walking around and it's just, it's so horribly sad what happened. Just before 10 a.m., someone from the school called 911 to report that a student had been violently attacked. That prompted a school-wide lockdown. Sean Stokes was communicating with his brother inside in real time. He said he was terrified. He heard uh, the teachers screaming in the hallways. Police say a female student had been stabbed in a classroom. The 17-year-old was airlifted to hospital in critical condition. RCMP, meanwhile, surrounded the school, blocking off roads as they searched for the attacker. That search took them to a nearby residential area where officers, some armed with assault rifles, were stopping and searching vehicles. A canine unit was deployed and seemed to lead its handler towards a particular home. Suddenly, barking could be heard from the backyard. A 19-year-old man who police say is a student at the school was led away in handcuffs. By the afternoon, RCMP confirmed the girl died of her injuries. It is an incomprehensible uh, that an act such as this could happen here in our close-knit community of Leduc. The school notified parents of the news with a letter canceling Tuesday classes and offering trauma support for any students who need it. I honestly think that everyone is going to be scarred <laughs> and that no one's really gonna recover from it. Now, police nor the school division are releasing the identity of the young victim involved here, nor are they releasing the identity of her alleged attacker. Uh, asked about the possible motivation here, the connection between the two, RCMP would only say that they knew each other. Jeff? Dan, thank you. Dan Grumman live tonight in Leduc. It's not your typical pleasure craft. Can't tell you how many people I've run into over the years that... Uh, have said, where do we rent these things? This thing belongs to the Kozaks. Are you guys uh, about ready? Yeah. The raft festival it was intended for was canceled, so the family found another use for the double decker. We basically said, well, we still want to go out in the river and, and enjoy, so. It's not exactly unsinkable, but can carry a sizable crew. So far, comfortable capacity for these things have been around 15 people. What's your job? Um, sometimes I drive the raft. Needless to say, it attracts attention. I've had a number of people say, can we come? <laughs> this raft is one of a kind, but there are actually two others just like it. And when they're connected together, well, that's when they really turn some heads. It looks like a contraption for sure, but it's awesome. <laughs> I love it actually. <laughs> Is anybody fishing? And we've had uh, $100,000 boats drive by and they're more interested in what we got going on than, than they have. It also caught the eye of Edmonton police. <laughs> so you guys have enough life jackets and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A friendly chat and the voyage continues. We're doing about two and a half kilometers an hour. For the Kozaks, it's about family time and a chance to show friends the river valley from another perspective. And you talked about fun things to do. I find it fun to bring somebody out here who had no clue. They may be skeptical at the beginning, but when they're done at the end, they're like, I can't wait to do this next year. For a raft mainly made of wood and styrofoam, these are the best types of waves. Dan Grummet, CTV News, Edmonton. David McCauley is no stranger to this store or others like it. After all, they have what he needs. When I first started, I would go fill the back of my truck in an afternoon. Today, he doesn't need a truck full, just a measly 400 forks, 
in order to finish his most ambitious project yet. It started early last year, when Macaulay learned what he could do with stainless steel. You learn so much working with it, and how you can bend it, how you can twist it without heat, and I don't use any heat. After a few smaller designs, he set his sights on something bigger, thus the frequent trips to Goodwill. You're doing the grizzly bear? Yes, they called it the grizzly. It's a polar bear, actually. <laughs> it was just something that, that came to me that I needed to make. Macaulay got the head started last spring, using a cup for the nose, but then life tossed a spoon in his spokes. His home, south of Edmonton, burnt to the ground. And what, since the house fire, um, I guess kicked it to the side. And so the bear skeleton sat, as did the excess cutlery, until Macaulay realized what was missing. And, I mean, I've, I've had numerous vi business ventures over the years, and it just felt like it was time for a change. The chaos and the rat race of everyday life, you never get caught up. And this, I come out here and I'm, I'm just happy. Well, six weeks ago, I just looked at him like, it's time. Since then, he estimates he's sunk in 600 hours or 25 full days. He's actually lost track of how many forks he's used. He figured out 70 equal a pound and then weighed the bear. And then that, if you do the math on it, kind of an average, I don't know exactly, but 15,400. That, is, that speaks to the abundance of silverware I'm finding all over. It's just discarded, and it's going to recycling or to the landfill. 402 forks. This isn't your first time carrying this out, is it? No. Just as he found a use for thousands of unwanted forks, he hopes the bear finds a home, a place people can enjoy it day and night. People are in awe. I, of, I'm not sure why. I, I really don't know. Exactly, but... I've learned to believe in myself over it. How's that? Since speaking with Macaulay, he finished the bear, but he's not done with her. It's, it's a her, so the cub is, is next to do. He'll just need about 4,000 more forks. Near Kalmar, Dan Grummet, CTV News.